Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you six affordable, easy reach fragrances. So a few of these are Middle Eastern, other ones are just affordable, but they're all awesome fragrances. They're easy to just pick up and go. Just great, excellent fragrances for well under $100. I have one that's 50 and I'm going to start with that one. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community and let's get into this. When looking at the prices, I'm looking at prices on the aftermarkets, the gray sites. So Fragrance Net, Fragrance Buy, Perfume Online, perfume.com, uh, sites like that. There's a few frag bar, triple traders, companies like that where you can get good prices. I think what I'm going to do, I've got kind of the three main ones that I go to, but uh, thinking about the Middle Eastern fragrances, because I get asked quite a lot, I'm going to leave frag bar and uh, triple traders. Triple traders is for the States, frag bar is for Canada. But those are all, all awesome places to get these fragrances. The other place uh, that you can sometimes get a good deal is amazon.com. Amazon.ca, so in Canada, prices are abysmal. Like you can't get a decent price fragrance in my opinion in amazon.ca store right now. So uh, the States, you have it a little bit luckier with Amazon, but for us, the prices aren't very good. But there's tons of excellent sites that you can go to. And even something like Perfume Online, Fragrance Buy, they ship to the States. Fragrance Net ships to Canada. So they're great options if you're wanting to get affordable fragrances. But I wanted to keep the price kind of under, uh, like 50 and under. So I've got six easy reaches. The first one comes around $51 with your discount from Fragrance Net. The first fragrance that I want to start with is Boucheron's Quatre. Now that is such a beautiful kind of aquatic fresh rose fragrance. You really can't go wrong with it. It's got kind of a citrus opening with grapefruit, tangerine, lemon, and orange. I would say that I get a little bit more of the grapefruit than any other citrus. And I feel like it kind of stays for the wear of the fragrance. Like you notice that kind of a citrusy rose feel. Uh, this also has jasmine, apple, big strawberry, rose, and peach. I don't really notice any apple or strawberry. The base is white musk, cashmere, cedar, vanilla, and caramel. And what I find is that as this fragrance, like for the, the majority of the fragrance, you're getting kind of that grapefruity aquatic rose feel, but in the deep dry down, occasionally, I get just a hint of sweetness that I'm attributing to that caramel and vanilla. I don't always notice it because it's way down in the dry down. But to me, it's in the same genre as something like a Chanel Chance Au Tendre or something like an Idole by Lancôme. All three of those kind of have the same vibe. They smell very feminine, put together, classy. You could wear it as a signature fragrance, but the cool thing about Quatre is it's just so affordable. So really enjoy that fragrance. You can't really go wrong with it. Uh, longevity, about five hours. Not all of these are super long lasting, but really for the price. And if you do spray like a decent amount, you get excellent projection and it's also a compliment getter. The next fragrance that I wanna mention is Always Red Femme by Elizabeth Arden. Now I rarely talk about this fragrance, but lately I've been pulling it out and wearing it. And it's actually just a really beautiful, sweeter, fruity floral but it's still kind of got a classy edge to it. And it reminds me of C by Giorgio Armani. Now it's not a, a dupe, but it does have kind of that C vibe. So if you like C, my guess, but you don't want to pay for C. <laughs> this one, and Always Red, is, there's a lot of, uh, like if you look on Fragrantica, Always Red is one that is compared to C as well. It has that kind of vibe. So this has cassis, pear, and lemon in the opening. It's got peach blossom, jasmine, artemisia, and lily of the valley in the mid. And in the base, it has a vanilla, patchouli, moss, and cedar. Now, I definitely get that cassis. When I say cassis, I do think black currenty. So I get a, a, a black currant vibe more than I do the pear. Definitely 
Notice the florals in there. They smell sweet and slightly powdery. And then you get that vanilla. This lasts about five, six hours again on the skin. But it's just an easy fragrance. If I want to smell sweet, like if I want to smell classy, I'd reach for Quatre. If I want to smell kind of just sweet and feminine, this is a great fragrance to me for like a brunch or going shopping, that sort of thing. I would reach for this one and it's just it's a, a nice fragrance you're going to smell good and it's not too overpowering it's just one of those mindless fragrances that go oh i want to smell good don't know what i want to wear today put this one on <laughs> and it's about 30 30 35 dollars you're going to find it for now i mentioned this one recently but because it's fall it's the one that I'm gravitating towards the most. And this is on the pricier end right now, but I imagine the price will go down as the popularity kind of uh, ebbs. So right now it's hyped up. It's Tharwa Gold. I've talked about this recently, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it's just a beautiful lavender orange blossom vanilla. That vanilla comes out really nice. The lavender is definitely present. Uh, so is the orange blossom, but I really enjoy this fragrance. It smells very sophisticated, luxurious. It is very similar to Libre Intense uh, by YSL, so kind of in that genre or vibe. I just really enjoy this. I think it's classy. I think it's signature scent worthy, although I think it would be a little bit heavy in the spring and summer, but for fall and winter, this is a go-to for me. I just find that I actually crave this one. I do really, really enjoy lavender. And actually on that note, I have like Mongerlan doesn't fit in this category, but I pulled out Mongerlan the other day and I put it on and I actually got teary. I'm like, this is such a gorgeous fragrance. I, I don't know what it is about that fragrance, but it's so, so beautiful. I just really enjoy lavender and fragrances as long as it's underneath. I really enjoy it. So I find this one comforting. I find it sophisticated. I find it slightly snobby uh, in the smell department. Like I imagine a really rich woman and she kind of you know, sizes up everything before she walks into a room and everybody kind of just caters to her. She's wearing this and it didn't cost much, but nobody else knows that. All they know is she smells like a, a force to be reckoned with. That's it. So love this fragrance. I think it's a little bit pricier. It's actually hard to find right now. If I can find a link, I'll leave it linked. But uh, the prices always fluctuate with these Middle Eastern depending on the popularity. So I think it'll come down. Right now, I think it's upwards of 60 bucks, but maybe you can find it cheaper. Anyway, Tharwa Gold, love it. Now this next one, it's quite refreshing. The longevity, again on this one, the longevity on Tharwa Gold is forever. So that's the one thing about Middle Eastern fragrances. They're affordable and their longevity often, often is just stellar. Uh, but the next one is Amethyst by Lalique. I love this bottle. I love the etching of the black currant in the vines. I just think Lalique's bottles are so beautiful. Amethyst has a ton of kind of berry notes in it. So it's got black currant, blackberry, blueberry, mulberry, and big strawberry. So tons of these berry notes. It's got pepper, peony, rose, and ylang ylang in the mid, and then the base is musk, woody notes, and bourbon vanilla. Now, some people find this to be quite sweet. I don't find it sweet. I find it musky and slightly watery. I don't notice any of those florals, although I do notice that there is a floral, but I, I can't differentiate the florals. And I don't find this overly sweet. What it reminds me of is berries out in the middle of the woods and you're gathering them and collecting them and some of them have stems on them and some of them have leaves on them. And then you're smelling your bucket of leaves and woodiness and uh, some underripe berries, some overripe berries. That's the feel I get from this one. It's very refreshing. It's definitely classy. I find it uh, restful and calming and it smells to me also as like almost like a fruit tea unsweetened so an unsweetened fruit or berry tea is what this gives me uh, the feel for some people think that it's like Meliora by Parfums de Marly 
Meliora to me is way more sweet and I definitely get more of the black currant with a lot more sweetness in that one. I love Meliora, it's absolutely beautiful. This one has a similarity, I guess, although if you were to smell them side by side, you'd go, no, they're nothing alike. This is way less sweet than something like Meliora. But it's a really enjoyable fragrance. It's one that I want to put on when I just want to smell fresh and calm and relaxed. This is a great fragrance. And it, to me, it's my Elven Princess fragrance. So I always think of some, someone like Arwen from The Lord of the Rings wearing this, wearing this color like of purple velvet uh, robe with uh, some sort of green underneath and she's walking barefoot on moss. Uh, that's the vibe that this gives me. So I love it. It feels fairy tale-ish. Definitely this one is not a blind buy safe in my opinion. So it took me a while to actually like this one. To me at first I'm like, oh, it smells like so like outdated or whatever but then somehow I fell in love with it. So buy at your own risk, but I love this one. One of my favorite fragrances currently is Barricat Gentle Gold by Maison Fragrance World. Now this is a uh, way too obvious dupe uh, or inspired version of Gentle Fluidity Gold by MFK. And so I just want to acknowledge that. Like whenever I talk about one of these fragrances, yeah, like it's it's very similar. And the fragrance is similar for sure. And I just love the fragrance profile. But for me, the Gentle Fluidity Gold is out of my budget. So I'm really thankful to have this because I just love this fragrance. As far as an easy reach fragrance, if I want to just smell really amazing and sophisticated and slightly bougie, I, I reach for this one. Seriously. It's about $40. There's a sweetness to this, but I don't quite know where the sweetness is coming from. So this has juniper berries and nutmeg in the opening in the heart. It has coriander and the base has vanilla, musk, amber wood, and caramel. So I guess it's the caramel the vanilla. I definitely get that balsamic feel and it smells to me there's almost a tart feel to this somehow, but I just I just love it. It smells classy, it smells very bougie and upscale. Uh lasts all day on my skin. So enjoy it. As far as a signature scent is concerned, this would be my top pick as far as affordable signature scent fragrances. This is just so, so beautiful. And you can wear this one all year round for sure. So this is another one that never leaves my carousel. It's always there because it's so gorgeous. The last fragrance that I wanna to talk to today is Guess 1981 Indigo. Now, all the prices that I've mentioned are Canadian prices. So this is about $25 Canadian. And as far as a really great, freshy, clean fragrance, this one's amazing. It has sea notes, fig, and lilac in the opening. In the heart, it has iris, blue lotus, and narcissus. And then the base has Pinot Noir grapes, red wine, Atlas cedar, and Haitian vetiver. Definitely in the opening, you get uh, a little bit of that sea or that aquatic feel. There's a freshness in here that I really, really enjoy. But what I love about this one is that as it dries down, you start to get that wine vibe and I just really enjoy it. It's kind of a freshy that takes a bit of a turn into sexy somehow. And this is your typical girl next door fragrance. So if you wanna smell fresh, clean, slightly sweet. This is a great fragrance. I almost think of fresh laundry when I smell this. Although, like I said, as it dries down, it becomes this, uh, like you've just done laundry, it's on the line, and then you're drinking a Pinot Noir. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know. Like it's just, it's just one of those fragrances that's clean, but has this little bit of a sexy edge as it dries down. So really enjoy this one. It's it, it's an easy no brainer fragrance, especially for spring and summer. Uh, really all year round for most people, but in Canada, in in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. It gets pretty cold, but even so, this is a great fragrance for putting on just out of the shower or if you just want to smell clean for the day and not too much perfume, this is a fantastic option. So love, love, love this fragrance. As far as clean fragrances are concerned, 
this is one of my favorite for sure. And that is it. Those are my affordable, easy reach fragrances. Really, they're no brainer. You're gonna smell good no matter what you choose out of this selection. What about you? What are your favorite easy reach affordable fragrances? Please leave it in the comments. And if you have thoughts on the fragrances that I've mentioned, please, uh, please leave them down below as well. I love to hear your guys' opinions. And that is it. I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.